That one's loaded. East side, just south of the bridge. They are now crashing into the seawall. Most police stops are uneventful, but some only appear that way before they turn chaotic and highly dangerous. Here are 10 one in a million moments caught on body camera, beginning with the case of 32 year old Vikram Sandhu, who on May the 26th of 2022 was pulled over by an officer for driving a tractor trailer in the leftmost lane of I 70. Not only was he acting suspiciously, but the officer also detected a strong odor of marijuana, and based on this odor, he was authorized to search the trailer and its contents for drugs. Yeah, we'll lock it, no lock Why not? Huh? No? Do you have a lock book? No. You got a lock book? No. Why not? No. You guys don't write the lock book? No. Do you have one you can fill out right now? Mm -hmm. Do you have a lock book you can fill out? Yeah, yeah, I have, I have the uh, no. well, Let me see. Do you stay in Phoenix for five days? At the truck stop? Yeah, at the truck stop. Can you get a look? All right, let's check all the lights. Thank you. I'm gonna check that fire signature.
Huh? Yes, sir. Turn around. Right now. His behind your back. Don't move. Manos arriba. Hey, chill. I don't know what's wrong. You tell me. You tell me why you put putting handcuffs on me. I'll let you know her just a minute. I'll get you back. Can I make a call? Yep. Manos arriba. Manos arriba. The constitutionality of police opening locked or sealed containers during vehicle searches was tested in the 2010 case Parrish versus the state of Indiana, where it was concluded that police may do so as long as they have articulable reason to believe that there's contraband inside. Did I make a yeah, yeah. I got somebody coming. You guys can get up off the ground here in just a minute and we'll adjust the cuffs, okay? What is it? So I got somebody else coming. I need to read you your rights. You have the right, before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to the lawyer. You understand your rights? I need to just speak yes or no. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I don't have a Spanish one, so we'll get you one later. Number, my phone, so I can make a call. This is who, it. who you gonna call? Oh my dad, this is it. Okay, I'll call it. And my baby mama. Your baby? Yeah, my baby mama. Is that right? You say your baby mama? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maybe we'll do that in a little bit, okay? All right. Could I smoke a cigarette real quick? Yeah, I'm waiting for the other guy to get here. We're about three minutes away. We're not trying to do nothing stupid. I hope no, not. We're, we're calling over you. All right. right. Okay. Do you want to talk to me about anything that's going on today? No, I don't know why you pull us over. Okay. Well, I do. I do uh, commercial vehicle inspections. That's why. That's why I stopped you guys. Okay. Uh, I'm. A, I'm gonna be up front. Looks like there's some drugs in the truck. Okay. So. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to cooperate with us or not. If you don't want to make any statements, that's fine. I don't know what's going on. Feel like weed in here, don't? You? Oh yeah. <laughs> Basically, these two boxes, just right there. Now it's covered up like this. So I'll take a couple pictures there. It does smell like weed in here. Mm -hmm. officers uncovered a 115 pound cane delivery that was worth over $2 million. Bikram had traveled about 16 hours from Houston, Texas and was almost to his destination in Indianapolis, but instead he would be taken to the station and charged with felony possession of narcotics and dealing narcotics. That pair clearly didn't think they'd be found out, but this next suspect, however, had to have known he'd be caught after trying to go through a metal detector with multiple firearms. 
got firearms, he got like a boozy in his backpack. It's a Mexican. Uh, why did you bring it in the courthouse? On August the 9th of 2023, a man entering the Cuyahoga County Justice Center would be found with multiple guns and boxes of ammunition inside his duffel bag after he set off the metal detector. The suspect was detained and identified as 21-year-old Linnell Williams and then handed over to police who had a thorough look through his bag. We're low, so I apologize. He's got firearms, he's got like a boozy in his backpack. It's a Mexican. Uh, Why did you bring it in the courthouse? We got chased. Hold we, on, we, hold we, on. We just, really, before you do that, did you read him anything yet? I haven't read him anything All right, yet. I want to read you these real quick because I don't want to be asking you nothing. Okay. Uh, you have the right to remain silent, but these rights of mine you wish to speak to me. I got to read you this because uh, those are your rights, all right? You got to put him in that, that lockdown cell for now. He can't hear on his duffel bag. He's got a Mac 10 and a handgun. That one's loaded. <laughs> that one's loaded. Officers recovered a MAC-10 with an extended magazine, a pistol with attachments, and 99 rounds of ammunition. Meanwhile, more officers attempted to question him about what was going on, and his answer was not what they expected. You try to file? I'm with my mama. Are you, are you trying to file restraining orders or what? Or you got one place against you? Ain't nothing against me. Like, we hear off a, a whole bunch of stuff. Anything happening in the rest here. Thank you, bro. Relax. I think it's legal in my name and my own. Okay. Going, um, but like, you can't bring this in here. I know everything happened so fast. We, 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 we get in chase. I hey, got sorry. dropped off by, by Officer Officer Gates, badge number 141. We just came from the hospital. They know everything already. But you hit this at a hospital, too? Yes, everything happened. You had both of these weapons inside of a hospital? Yeah. Yes, they took me to the back room and everything. Thanks for me. Everything just happened in, in, in a couple seconds. Uh, Cleveland brought you down here with you? No, like the hospital. It's the like, hospital did? It's like 10, what hospital? It's like five minutes away, six minutes away. Which hospital was? Uh, you don't know which like, hospital you were at? Everything, everything happened so the hospital is like six minutes away, bus wise. What side of town? It's, uh, you went to St. Vincent and they brought you over here with two guns no, we in your went, bag? we went to the hospital no. and they dropped us off. Dropped us off because we, I know I can't bring it in here, but anything is so dangerous right now. I can't bring it up. What is, uh, what, what's his purpose for being here today? Protection order, you said. A protection order? Sure. Yeah, this mom's right? somewhere in the building, you said, right? Okay. She here to file okay. a protection order? Uh, let's, send, let's send somebody up to eight. Um, try and find mom. I had to talk to Okay. What's your mom wearing? You remember what she's wearing? Not really. No? You said she wanted to file a protection order? You don't know? They got when I first came in here, I, I was I was gonna talk to the female officer. I like before I stepped in, I got something, but everything was ha happening so fast in the line that she didn't hear me, so I stepped back. So I, I put it in anyway because everything that's going on, I put it in. Is your mom on probation? No. She got a criminal case? No. So what was she here for then? Your mom? A lot. Like what? Well, I mean, what'd you guys come down here for today? 
you know what, you know what I'm asking for? Like, what was the main purpose you come down to? We was getting chased. Chased by who? Her ex. Her ex? So she's getting chased by her ex. Okay. You know what color shirt she had on? A white shirt? Did it have any writing on it? No, just plain white t-shirt? White shirt? Is it a tank top? Is it a, like a short sleeve shirt? Is it a long sleeve shirt? Like a short sleeve. She has glasses, right? She has glasses. Yes. And a bunch of jewelry. Yes. I can't remember what pants were. Was she wearing like khakis? Like greenish. What is it? Like greenish. Yeah, but they're like yeah. pants. Like that. She have long hair, short hair. Is it like, is it cut up? Or yes. is it long? Her hair is short, like cut up. She got like green khakis, like green khakis on. Linnell insisted that he and his mother were there for the same reason that he had the weapons in his bag. He felt that they were in danger. However, this was never confirmed, and his mother, 46-year-old Andrea Williams, immediately fled the building when security detained her son. Yeah. What is she here for, you said? Like, where would she go? The story, the, the story is so deep, like, what's about to come out, I'd rather for y'all to talk to her about that. Like. The story is deep? Yes. What do you mean by the story is deep? Sure, I'm sorry to bore you. I'm going to look at anything. Like, 9.42. I'm just asking, what, what do you mean by story is deep? You said it, not me. I know, but like, anything's scary right now. Well, there ain't nobody in here going to get you. We've been getting... When um, I turn my head like that because we're getting chased by multiple people. I don't know if that was one of the people. I don't know. It's multiple people. Like, they got lookouts. That's why I turn my head like that. They got lookouts? Yes, we're getting chased by multiple cars. That's why, if y'all notice, I turn my head because I don't know who was who. Like, Did your mom take your phone? I don't know. When I put in, I put in a tray. I was trying to tell the female officer that I had the guns in my bag. Does your mom have a purse? I think so. I think so. That's what it's in the purse in it. I'm wondering if that's all her stuff. That's... Yeah, all the, the purse is everything. That's all her stuff. That's all her stuff. Out anymore? Uh, when they get downstairs. Yeah. You don't got a doll on, do you? You got any other property on you, my man? Any jewelry? Just in that computer. I'll get that downstairs. <laughs> I'm walking down for it. Good dude. Just been around there, buddy. A little pat down one more time. Yeah. And nothing else on you, bud? No, separate your feet, right? Alright, yeah, keep your legs apart, okay? Just so you know. Sheriff's 500 radio. Oh, you can send the drop for dropping up. You're being charged for the conveyance of the weapons in the adjust center, okay? Yeah, I'm There's numerous signs on the doors and all that. Can't bring that in, alright? You understand? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you, you know, you're not, but unfortunately, due to your actions, we got to charge you, okay? Andrea was found soon afterwards and arrested. Both mother and son would be charged with carrying a concealed weapon and illegal conveyance of a deadly weapon in a courthouse. And as startling as that may seem, it was even more shocking when officers were shot at during an arrest and the shooter, a four-year-old boy. Get your arm out now! Oh! Fuck. 
On February the 12th of 2022, the police were called to a McDonald's after a customer in the drive-thru threatened employees with a gun in front of his two young children because they got his order wrong. They told the driver, 27-year-old Sadat Johnson, to wait at the front so they could correct his order, but instead they called the police. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Let me see your hands. Open your window. Open the door. Open the door. Okay. Open the door. Real slow. Okay, put down your phone. Put down your phone. With your right hand, open the door. With your right hand, open the door. Open the door. Open your door. Come on out. Come on out. Hold on, I got my... Hold on. Step out, step out! Get out of the car! Get out! Gun, gun, gun! Get your arm out! Get your arm out! Get your arm out now! Go! Drop the gun! The shooter was actually the suspect's four-year-old son, who saw the officers grab his father and responded by grabbing the handgun and firing at them. After the incident, a female officer took both children back inside the restaurant where they could be monitored. Was the kid inside the car? I guess. Okay. How old's the kid? I just... Our freaking heads were all right there. I mean, had it been lower? Hey, hey. Let's go for it. No, nope, we need medical. Get us medical. It went unresponsive. Flip him. Flip him. What? So what? A little, little boy pulls out a gun. I look back and there's a... This block, hey, this Ruby, let's, let's take the inside. Inside. Yeah. inside. Good. Guys, flip it around, come back on this side. Let's, let's he's, start medical. Yeah, no, medical. Shit. 60, 82. There you go. That isn't this right here, is it? Right Our heads were right here. That's where the bullet hit. Oh, he's shocked. Yeah. Well, there's a kid in the back seat. While talking to his colleague, the officer soon found out that it wasn't only due to luck that they weren't shot. It was due to one officer's split-second thinking. Kid aiming for you guys? Yes, I come... There's a window. I come walking up to look in, and all of a sudden this silver handgun comes out like, like this. I'm like, ooh. Oh, you pushed it. I pushed it as they fired. And it went over these guys' head. And you guys have security cameras? We do, but we don't have access to them until 4 o'clock. Oh, actually, no, not till tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. Not until 4. 4? I thought it was Gio has to pass it to them. Okay, yeah, so 4 o'clock. Okay, so what I'm going to have... Are you the... You're fine. Take your time. He um, did choose. You did? Okay. Her one officer's report, the four-year-old later told him, I grabbed my dad's gun and tried to shoot the police so he could be free and do what he wanted. Sadat would also admit that this wasn't the first time his son had picked up his gun, and as a result, he was charged with child abuse, aggravated assault, and interference with an arresting officer. That was the last thing that anyone expected, and this next nationally wanted fugitive would get a taste of the unexpected as well when he was finally caught and arrested while in line at Disney World. The subject of a warrant. 
The subject of a war? Yes. What are you talking about? Open it. On October the 20th of 2022, an officer with the USPIS was enjoying a family vacation at Disney World when he happened to lock eyes on a wanted man who'd been on the run for nearly a year. The fugitive, 31-year-old Quashan Burton, had stolen at least four people's identities in order to fraudulently claim almost $150,000 in COVID relief funds. Hey, brother. Can we talk to you for a second? Me? Yeah. What's up? You have your ID with you? My ID? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have my ID on you. What's your first name? We got, a, we, got a, we got some more that you might be doing something. I might be doing something. Yeah. Yeah. You have your name? Oh, so I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. Turn it on for me. It's okay. Oh, if you didn't do anything wrong, it's okay. But it's, I don't understand. I, oh, li I literally, I'm with my daughter. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, so I did nothing wrong. Okay. It's okay. If you didn't do anything wrong, just, oh, he's I don't just going to secure you and that's no, it. This is not right. Don't resist. Oh, I did nothing okay. wrong. Don't resist. Oh, I just was here with my officer. Listen. Okay, don't grab This is you. not right. I did nothing wrong, officer. Put your hands I, behind your back. Can you tell me what's wrong? What's the once, problem? Once we figure it out. Uh, but this is not right because okay, you're detaining look. me. You're not telling me okay. why. Okay. okay. This is not right, officer. You're the suspect. I, I'm you're the suspect, suspect in a warrant. Look at me. If you're not the guy, we're going to let you go. If you are the guy, this is not right. Put your hands behind your back. I did nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm here with my child. Okay, so listen. Look, my daughter. Are you going to do this? If it isn't him, we're going to let him go. It's for a warrant. Okay, brother, turn around. Officer, turn this around. is not turn right. Y'all got to do this with my child? Turn around. Are y'all doing this? Oh my God. Yo, no, this is not right, officer. Stop resisting. Hey, officer, my daughter is right here. Are y'all serious? Stop resisting, man. This is man. not right, man. Officer, this is not right. This is not right. Yo, y'all call this. This is not right. I did nothing wrong. I'm in danger here. Are y'all kidding me? Oh my God. I don't believe this. But we have, we have. Nah, this is not right. Officer, I did nothing. Stop fighting, man. Bro. Are y'all kidding me? My child is right here. Hey, bro, if it's Listen, not you, we're going to let you go. But this is not right, officer. I okay. think I'm in this one. Hey, I did nothing. Hey, if it's not you, we're going to let you go. What are you I did Buddy, know. hey, look at me. If it's not you, we're gonna let you go. I promise. And what's not me? The, the subject of a me? the subject of a warrant. The subject of a warrant. Yes. What are you talking about, officer? Yo, this is not. Yo, not Come on. This is wrong. This is wrong. Officer, this is wrong. This is wrong. No, you're gonna... I'm telling you, this is wrong. Are you kidding me? Are y'all kidding me? Y'all gonna assault me now? Turn I did around. I'm, Turn around. Y'all gonna assault me? Buddy, if it's not you, we're gonna let you go. Listen, all right, so to confirm that before you arrest. me, I'm not arresting you, but you're... Buddy, I, I mean, sir, there are the buddy. cops. Kushan continued to pretend like he didn't know what was going on, leading officers to re-explain themselves several times. Eventually, Kushan allowed himself to be handcuffed, but he wouldn't be so generous with his personal information. I don't understand. I'm you're the right. subject of a warrant. If it's not you, I'm going to let you go. I'm coming your 10 for you. Oh, so this is, I don't understand. This is 10 I do understand what I'm saying. Look, look at me. I promise you, if it's not you, we're going to let you go. That's it. But we have to investigate because you match the description of a subject with the warrant. If it's not you, we're going to let you go. Okay? Do me that favor. All right. Because we have people coming. And I don't want to make this any worse, okay? All but right. you're resisting. And if it's not you, we're going to let you go. All Sounds right. good? Lay down for me right here. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Do me a favor, okay? You're going to stand to the left, okay? To this side. You're gonna go that way and sit on your butt. Okay? Come up. All right, we're gonna take him straight to the car. Hey, we're gonna just talk to you and then that's it, okay? Come up. Yeah. Don't try anything dumb, okay? Do you have ID on you anywhere or did you give it to him already? Um, no, I don't have ID with me. Okay. Do you have an ID in Florida? No. No? Where's your ID from? With my ID card? Yeah. Well, like you're an adult. You have a photo ID issued to you somewhere? Um, yes. What state? South Carolina. South Carolina? Yes. All right. You can go ahead and put your knees in there for me, bud.
Okay. What's your name? What's your name, bro? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you know that we already know, right? Know mm -hmm. what? You know. So why don't you just provide your actual information to us and speed up this process? That's what I'm You know what I'm saying? No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, what's, what's, your, what's your last name? You don't, you, do you have a last name? I have a name, I'll just say what? But you um, don't want to provide it? I, I wanna All you're going to do is prolong things, but if you don't tell us, so it's not really affecting us. It's really going to tie you up more than anything. I understand that. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to understand what's going on. Okay. Well, I'll let, I'll let this deputy explain that to you. Okay. okay, well, I'll let him explain it some more. And I explained to you, you were the subject of a warrant, okay? Okay? And and, and again, the longer you prolong this, the longer, because we, we could be here all day. So we just need to get going. We already know what we got to know, but you got to give us the information that we need. Okay? What's your name, bro? We already went, look, all through all this crap. What's your name, man? Bro, hey, man to man, bro. What's your name, bro? We're gonna do this. Bro, listen, I told you, man. None of this had to happen. Okay? I tried talking to you normal, but you just you don't want it that way. You you just start resisting. That's not the way we do things, man. Okay? We just try. We need to get all this information. What is your name? You're not gonna talk. Come right, on, man. We're gonna be here all day, man. Yeah, that's him. I got him ID'd by. I mean, that's him, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't him, he would just tell you who he was, what? so he could well, get out of here. You know what I mean? But he, he won't give you a name. No. Uh, the Fed. Verified that's him. It was later discovered that Quashan had used a fake ID to get into the amusement park and had used several different fakes to evade detection over the past year. He would be charged with resisting arrest before being extradited back to New York to face his fraud charges. Well, that's certainly not how he saw himself getting back home. And as for this next suspect, there's no telling where he had planned to go after hijacking this train. Drop it down! On June the 7th of 2022, officers were called in on a report of a man who was being very aggressive towards a train. There's a, yeah, there's a subject uh, that was laying on the tracks and as the train approached, they were able to get stopped. The person has then started throwing rocks, busted the windows out of the engine and is now climbed on top and is sitting on top of the, the engine. Okay, do we have a description of the individual? Uh, I do not know. Drop it now! Drop it! Drop the fucking hammer! Now! Drop it! Drop it! Drop all of it! Drop it on the ground! Everything on you now! Drop it all! Drop all of it! No! Drop it down! Drop it down! What you gonna do? You think you gonna kill me? I'm Jesus! Don't kill Jesus! Drop it down, sir! You believe? Pray in front of me now and I hand it to you. No! Drop it down! You, what is you? A good question, man! Drop it! We have MCR. Hey, get a taser out. Come down, sir. Come down. Come down. Come down. I'm not playing with games with you, buddy. Right now you are. Put the flares down. Put the flares down. Put the flares down. And put your hands out. I don't gotta do nothing. You say you're not doing nothing. Just kill me now. 
The suspect made it very clear he wasn't scared of the officers, nor did he feel that he had to obey their commands. He then disappeared back inside the train, forcing the officers to hunt him down. Don't go in there, sir. No. Hey, come out again, bud. What? I don't know what the fuck he has, dude. Yeah, but if he's lighting them, open it up. What's up, man? Let me see your hands. Give me your gun. Okay. Come here. Once caught, the suspect pleaded with the officers not to hurt him, stating that he was just trying to spread a message. However, people typically aren't inclined to listen to someone who just laid in front of a train, so the officers carried him off to the patrol car. Hand him down. Yeah. my leg. Just don't kill me. Walk around this way. You want to do that? Who do you want to be the president? Trump or who? Let's pick. Who's the sheriff of Columbus Police? We're going to pick. Or else ICE is going to blow the... Don't get... No, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Just don't break my wrist. Ow! Oh, God. Let's go. Yeah. Don't kill me. Walk. Put me in jail six years unjustly. Six years unjustly. 
Mark Collins. Go call Mark Collins. Let me face my accusers. You never, never let me face my accusers. Stand here. Spread your feet. I'll go butt naked. Don't look at my dick, though. He's looking at that. Right around his back here. The clothes off me and you the f Y'all should have a machine that could do this. Sit down. Why is all these uh, cops? Cars. All right, hey, sit back. Let's Put your help. feet in the Let's car, sir. At least force becomes stronger. What if there was ten? Mother. This seatbelt. The Holy Spirit is moving. I'm Just let it go out. back. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now go. Now try it. Why y'all making slaves? Why? We all we did was learn. Alright. See if you can get his info from me real quick. Jesus Christ. The officer returned to his cruiser where the suspect was ranting about his beliefs concerning race and religion. He half-heartedly entertained the suspect's ramblings while they prepared for transport to jail. I added it to the run. Who believes in that? You don't believe in the father's run. You don't believe in the father's run. You don't believe in the the one that you spit on. A nigger. A nigger. Israelites are niggers. We all mixed though, we all came from Adam. Why do we hate each other? You know who y'all subdued? Y'all subdued the second coming of Jesus. If it's 12 of us, and we are the disciples or somebody, but I'm the 13th, it's 12. But Judas is not part of us. We are reincarnations. You know who I was in the past life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. FCNT's gonna be responding to main announcements for the train conductor. was Adam. Adam was Joseph. Yeah, one, two, three, you can just tell him to just go north of, he'll see our prison. And then the big brother came, my big brother, Kobe, that's it, bro. I said, why not rap niggas put me on? I'm the best rapper, bro. I looked up to Lil Wayne. They say he Illuminati and this, this, that, bro. They, I don't know the truth about everything, but I, we gonna find out. We gonna find out today. Feel me, honky? Shout out to the sea dogs. Like, I should have been the head of the bloods, bro. Perhaps some jail time will out onto the aspiring gang leader's street cred. Shortly after, he was transported to jail without further incident. The last suspect only managed to hide from police for five minutes, but the next fugitive successfully evaded them for 28 years. But because you're driving on suspended license, you gotta get out of jail. So I did not know. On August the 16th of 2022, an officer initiated a stop on a vehicle after running its plates and finding that the registration was suspended. The officer obtained the necessary documents from the driver, identified as Ras Sakim, and went back to run his information, at which time he learned that his license was also suspended. What's your, what's your last name? Sakim. Sakim, okay. Alright, I'm gonna have you go and step out the vehicle for me. She's gonna come and get me. Yeah, so you're about 57 minutes away from me. I was almost at the hospital. All right, okay. Let's take this off, Um, Just, um, yeah, just tell me what the information you put in your in your GPS, because that way I, I didn't go. The same thing. I don't know the name of this place right we'll, here. We'll, we'll, we'll get it figured out. We'll text it to you. It's Prince Avenue. Avenue. It's All Prince right, Avenue. so here, here's what's going to happen, Sakim, okay? Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to place you into custody today, okay? You're going to have to go down to jail. Oh no. You gotta get booked in, I gotta take your fingerprints and picture and you'll get a bond. But because you're driving on a suspended license, you gotta go down to jail. Sir, I did not know. I have children, I have a sick uncle, and I run the household. I got you. No, I really do. You don't have a choice at this put, time. Please so put auntie. Go ahead, turn around, put your hands behind your back, please. Please put auntie around, on put the phone. Put your hands behind your back. Who set your phone up on the car? They put me under arrest right now. They, I don't know. For driving with suspended license? And the license. I didn't know. And, 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 it's, and it's not even showing. Unfortunately, the law is different here in Georgia than it is in South Carolina. If you have a suspended license, you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Okay, but, but sir, can you speak to my aunt? She has. Yeah, we're, we're on speakerphone. She okay, please, right now. No, please speak to her. Yeah. Please, please speak to her. I'm the only one that can help with my uncle that's sick in ICU right now. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Please, you're driving a car without valid insurance. My son, oh, we yeah, got, you got that yes, taken care of. You're already driving a car without valid insurance. I won't drive. 
My cousin, we can't trust my, to drive to drive. No, I swear to you, I'll walk away from my car. So we're going to walk you back to this please. other car. Please, sir. sir. So we're going to walk you to my car. Come on. Come on. Sir, come on. Please. My aunt is old. She's 80 years old. Sir, please. I, I will not. I swear, you can, please check me. Okay. Please check well, everything uh, on me. I'm going to search you and send to arrest. Huh? See what's his emergency 911? Yes. Praise towards that. Okay. Sir. Separate your feet out. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Nothing in your pocket, sir. Sir, sir please. please. What all do you need out of I your pocket? Sir, I have a child at the house that they cannot take care of. I what have, all do you need out of your car? Sir. I beg you. I what? beg of y'all. I will not touch my car. You can take my keys out. What all do you need out of your car? Uh, I don't need. I don't need my family. That's it. I do see for my. Sit for. I'll find you. I do see for me, sir. I just place the turning face towards me and then sit down in the seat. Slide your legs in. Sir, I do for my entire family. Okay. Well, do you know? I'm, I don't have a choice here, man. I'm telling you. That's I, I told you job. I was not going to get in my car. I don't have a choice. I wasn't going to get in you my car. You have a suspended car. license. You're driving a car without insurance. You've got that taken care of. I've been doing it every you day. you suspended registration. <laughs> you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Just take your photograph. They're going to take your fingerprints. They'll give you a bond amount. You can bond out, and then you can get on the way up to the hospital. But you can't drive. Sir, I... I so have a seat for okay, me, please. Okay, may I speak after you? Have a seat. As strange as his behavior seems, there's a reason Ross is panicking. That's because his birth name is Muhammad El Amin, a fugitive wanted for murdering 18-year-old Jafford Tucker at an Atlanta metro stop in November of 1994. Muhammad, a teenager himself at the time, shot the man point blank in the face before running away. Nearly 28 years later, and Muhammad, now in his 40s, knows that if the officers take him in, his life is over as well. Are you going to Sit down and then I'll listen to you. Okay, so what do you, what do you want to tell me? On, on everything, my aunt just had a stroke. My uncle just had a stroke two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. I'm here helping my family. Oh, I don't even know who can come and bomb me out. I don't even know who can come and bomb me out. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a crook. I'm, if you, I look how I mean, old you, I am. Did you get a ticket or something? I didn't get take care of? I, I don't. Mean, why would they suspend your license in South Carolina? That's, I just found out speaking to the deputy. Yeah. I just found out that maybe when we had a car that I had to got repossessed, that yeah. I didn't take my name off of it. Okay. Um, I, mean, I, I wouldn't imagine that they'd suspend you for a repossession. But that's what I'm saying. I did. I don't. But but it's no no information is coming up. I won't drive. I will, I'll have my cousin. Can you slide your lights in for us. You're not going to speak to me? No, unfortunately, I told you. I've already explained my position to you. Oh, this hurts. I don't have a choice. Sir, sir, I have... Uh, sir. Okay, so the way you're sitting right now is not a good position. You're a tall guy. you got long legs. You can slide your knees over this way and sit at an angle. Do you need anything outside of your car? Um, just, just know that I... Can you speak to my aunt? She just... Do you have a speech? Uh-uh. Just, just speak to my aunt because I do everything for the house. I okay. I, I, I do everything. My son is there. He's only 13 years old. He doesn't not. He does not know what's going on. This is. This is. I don't. Can you let my cousin know wherever it is I'm going? Can you let him know where it is? Yeah. So when you get there, you'll be able to call him. How, how can I call him? When you when they book you in, they'll give you some phone calls, so you can call him. Yeah, All right. Yes, because I, I don't. Yeah. Why? I thought she was gonna let me just let my cousin pick me up. Why did this happen? I'm I'm so sorry. People, deputy, so many people rely upon me. You do not know. You can look. You can get in and get out. All right. We'll work with you. All right. We'll try to get you out as quick as possible. Man, this is my uncle is sick. All right. Well, the quicker we get to jail, the quicker you can get out. Okay. While the officers still had no idea who he really was, Muhammad was already aware that he wouldn't be getting out anytime soon. He continued to beg the officers not to take him in, but letting him go simply was not an option. What is it? I've never been to jail in my time. Okay, all right. It'll be fine, I promise. All right. All right, we got to get you to the jail. I just have to go by what the law states, okay? But I'm not even, I don't even let you get here my soul. Yeah, absolutely. And I and I and I I believe you. I believe you are helping your family. But I I have at the end of the day I have a job I have to do. And I appreciate you being cooperative, okay? I'm afraid because my uncle
Mohammed was taken to the police station where he was fingerprinted and, as expected, his true identity would be uncovered. He was subsequently charged with felony murder, an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and held without bond. That was an unbelievable stroke of luck for the officer, but even more unbelievable is the next suspect, who OD'd on vanilla extract. Let's get all the bad stuff out of your system. Hey. In June of 2023, a 36-year-old new employee who'd come to a nursing home for orientation suddenly began overdosing. The suspect advised staff that she'd consumed crack cocaine before coming in, but that wasn't all. She'd also consumed an unruly amount of vanilla extract, which for those who don't know, contains 35% alcohol, the same as hard liquor, and is just as likely to cause alcohol poisoning. Hey, where's it going on? What's going on? Possibly an overdose going on here? Can you just direct the other officers coming as well as fire? Oh, wait, are you talking to her? She admitted that she did crack. Is she talking? Is she alert? She's talking. She also wants to. Can we see her? Yep. Sure. Hi, how are you doing? You okay? What's your name? Right there, you see the bald guy? That's where you're going. I don't know, I've never... Hey, what's your name? Let's start with that. Let's start with that. Okay. 112, can we get crew in route? Hey, what's your name? Can you talk to us so we can help you? What's going on today? Can you talk to us? What did you take today? What did you take? Huh? Some crack. Some crack? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Alright. When was the last time you used? A couple hours ago. Okay. Do you have any drugs on you right now? No. No. Is it true okay. that you smoke crack because you want to overdose and that's what they're telling us. Is that true? It's okay if that if that's true. We just want to know how we can help you. We need to do what? Because we have somebody that can come here and talk with you, and, and we can get you in touch with the good resources. We need you to be honest with us. Who is that? Uh, that's just my partner as well as the the staff. You're not in any trouble. With yeah. Us. We just want to make sure that you're okay and that we can get you help if you need it. Okay. You're in there. Me? Hey, do you mind if I look through your purse for your ID? Make sure there's no weapons or anything in there? Do you mind if I do that? Uh, no. You don't want me to do that or you don't mind? I don't want You don't want me to do that? You're a sucker. Why is that? I'm being nothing but nice to you. you look like a Oh, well, thanks. Guys, yeah, no, I mean, no. We're well, just well, here well, to help. Yeah. Like I said, you're not, you're not in any trouble. We just want to make sure that you're okay. Hey, I guess in the meantime... I like her! We should walk around. You are can we, can we at least get you up and then walk outside so we can get you assessed by oh, medical? Yeah, and I heard that's what your plan is. Can we do that? I'm asking you. Because we got fire department here that want to check you out. Hey! What's going on? No crack about 20-30 minutes ago. Can I feel your pulse, please? How about we take one step at a time and let's just yeah. get you medically clear. That's it. Let's get all the bad stuff out of your system. <laughs> hey, we can't have you doing that, okay? Do not do that again. As the encounter went on, the suspect only became more uncooperative and combative. And at that point, officers needed to focus on getting her to the hospital, which this paramedic knew wasn't going to be easy. Do you understand me? Yeah. <laughs> No Do you want to go to the hospital with these gentlemen and get checked out? Yes or no? No. Okay. We would like to just make sure you're doing okay, all right? I'm fine. The worst thing that could possibly happen is something happens. You know, when we're back, when we're away, 
and some bad happens, and then hope maybe you stop breathing, and then we have to come back, and then it's worse by then. We don't want that to happen. Let me go. Well, we're not gonna go anywhere. Just let me go. Stop. Okay. Stop. Relax. Okay. We can't have you falling over. Spitting at any of us. Do not. I swear, if you spit on me again, it's not gonna be good. Stop touching me. Stop. You're hurting me. Stop. I need you to calm down. I am calm. Let's just go outside, okay? Yeah. Let's get your heart rate checked out. Let's go outside. We're not gonna sit in here. Stop. We're just trying to make sure you're okay, all right? Stop touching me! Sit in here. Okay, can you get your hands off of can my? You, can you control yourself? Yeah, okay. I can, sweetheart. Then so, then so Okay, well, we're not we're not gonna do that. The suspect voluntarily got onto the gurney and allowed herself to be strapped in. But when a spit hood was brought over, she began to throw a tantrum all over again. Sissy pants. Okay. You wanna try and scoot up a little bit on the car? Ew. Ew. This is more comfortable for you. She can't control her saliva. Yo! <laughs> That's why we do that. <laughs> we do we have 112 uh, can you just talk in the spit at us twice, she's gonna spit it on. At the local hospital, the suspect lashed out at the officers and nurses by kicking, screaming, and managing to get her spit hood off to spit at police and hospital staff. She's cracked to die. She didn't really want to talk to us. She just became super uncooperative and started spitting at us. And she was there for an interview? I think so. We should have smoked crap about 20 to 30 minutes before we got there. She said she wanted to die. That's why she smoked crap. Okay. She's uncooperative, didn't really want to talk to us, started spitting at us, and now we're here. Call you guys then? The staff there, Definitely. she was there for a new higher orientation. This isn't making anything any better for you. you. You don't have to like us, you don't have to be friends. Duh! We have to go through this process either way. This process so it's, we're going through. It's so. better just to relax and just lay back and yeah, talk like to go of me! You can't because you, you can't. keep acting like that. Like, you gotta stop. <gasps> Just lay there and relax. The we can let go of you, but you just gotta lay there and relax. Oh, well, I will! You want me to turn some TV on for you? Yeah. Eventually, she had to be medically sedated due to her erratic behavior. Her blood alcohol content was found to be an insane 0.93%. To put that into perspective, most people die of alcohol poisoning before they reach a blood alcohol level of 0.5%, meaning that even one more sip could have been her last. She was charged with felony discharge of bodily fluid at an officer and misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Talk about a crazy first day on the job. But sadly, this next encounter would be one officer's last day on the job after bravely facing off with a particularly depraved suspect. On May the 27th of 2020, officers were requested to an apartment complex to serve an eviction notice to 43-year-old Salama Pendleton and his mother, 61-year-old Lola Moore. The responding officer was escorted to the suspect's apartment and knocked on the door, but got no answer. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office, open the door, please. What can I help you with, sir? Open the door, please. Sheriff's office. What can I help you with, sir? I have an eviction paper, sir. Open the door, sir. No, sir. We'll be making entry in just a moment. Please open the door. You don't have permission to have entry, sir. You got a key? Yeah. Are you sworn in under? Are you sworn in under open law business? Yes, we are. I have a judge's order, sir.
Sheriff's office. The officers bursted through the front door to find that someone had barricaded it. At the same time, Salama ran into one of the bedrooms and locked himself inside. Let me see your hands. Hello, miss. Where is he? Which Bring him out go? now. He's that way. All right. You had he jumped off the third floor balcony. <clears throat> no, he's got the door locked. What's into? Open the door, Open sir. Open the door. Yes, yes, we are. We are. Ma'am, we have an eviction yeah, paper. Have. Okay. Open the door, sir. I have not had my day in court. That is not my fault. Open the door. <laughs> Central 19, we're 10 to. You have had your opportunity. It is now time to open the door. <laughs> open the door, sir. You're violating my do you have another? He's got a lock on that door. Sir, you need to open the door or you will go to jail. I am not going anywhere. You need to open the door or you will go to jail. I'm going to kick it. Go. I'm dead too! You okay, Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> How's she doing? Me? No, her. One of three. Head for it. Is there anybody hurt? Grand Forks Police Department. Grand Forks Police! Sheriff's office in the kitchen. Okay, coming. Kitchen's off in the doorway off to your left. What? The armed person's right in the doorway, right straight ahead. Is he still in? Yes, he is. Yes. Jesus Christ. He's still in the bedroom. Okay, clear that, clear that. Get out of the fire. While the officers devised a plan to get themselves out alive, there had already been a casualty sustained during the shootout. Salama's mother, Lola, had been hit by a stray bullet from Salama's own AK-74 and laid dead at the end of the hall. The door shut? Yes, it is. He closed it again. Way down the hall? No, Kelly. Kelly's at the end hall. He's in the bedroom. Yep. Didn't cop here. Right now? It's wide open. Kelly and I, two of us. One's in this room. Kelly's in the bathroom, across the hall. Suspect's in this bedroom. Doors opening, doors opening, doors opening, doors opening. I'm on two twenty-four. Stand by. I understand. Doors open, doors open. Doors closing again. Doors closed. Yeah, right, Kill. Doors open. No. Doors open. Doors open. Doors open. Ma, put your hands up. You killed my mother. Hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. You killed my mother. We did not kill your mother. Hands up in the air. The officers began negotiating with the shooter to surrender, but the longer the conversation went on, the more it became clear he wasn't in his right mind. Come on with the hands up in the air, okay? Hand up, hand up in the air. Why is my mother dead? We have a medical unit ready to do it. What's his name? Solano. We have a medical unit. Solano, we can't help your mother until you come out. Why is my mother dead? We don't know that. We need you to come out so we can get medical up to her. Why are you violating our constitutional rights? I'm not coming out. Get an ambulance and help my mom. They will not come in until you are out. Why am I to come out? So that we can help your mother. They will not come up until you're out, Salama. I'm not coming out. Until my mother gets an ambulance. We got an ambulance outside waiting. They're not coming in. I'm not coming out until they come in and help her. 
They're not going to come in the apartment if you have a rifle. I'm not going to shoot anymore until they come and help my brother. Put the rifle outside your door. I'm not going to harm anyone. And, I, and that's great. We love to hear that. But they are not going to come in. help my brother. Yeah. We need you to come out, please. I'm not coming out. Salama, I swear, you will not be harmed if you put the rifle down and come out. I've already been harmed. You violated my constitutional rights. You broke into my home. You Salama. don't have permission to come in here. You broke in. We need, I had... You broke in, you're breaking in, and you're trying to kill us. Okay. I have the right to protect myself and my family. Careful. Salama, we can discuss all of that after we get help for your mom. We can. But we can't do that until you put down that rifle. My mother's laying on the floor dead. We don't know that, but we need to get an ambulance. Mom, up. wake up! She would have got out by now. Salama, when this is all said and done, you can get hire a lawyer. You can file all the lawsuits you want for the Second Amendment. But right now, we need you out. I'm not coming out. My mother's dead. You have broken into my home and you have killed my mother. I'm demanding that you leave now. You have broken into our home. You have violated our constitutional rights. You violated your own office. Yeah, we need to come in and prevent traffic from coming into the uh, parking lot. Of course, we're going to be in the parking lot over here. We're going to have 2,600 blocks. Salama. Salama. There are all sorts of attorneys that will help you in regards to your Second Amendment. The attorney, there's all sorts of attorneys and, and people that will help you with your Second Amendment. You cannot leave, Salama. You need to get your mother help. We need to get her help, though. We can't do that until you come out. So I'm a, we, we need you to cooperate as best as you can, okay? We need you to put the gun down so that we can get the ambulance up here to take care of your mother. Salama, decidedly uninterested in their offer, exited the room and began firing at the officers again, this time until he ran out of ammunition. Oh my God. The officer was shot in the thigh while the suspect was riddled with bullets, but both would live and recover. However, they couldn't save everyone. 29-year-old officer Cody Holt was shot multiple times and died on the scene as well. And as a result, Salama was charged with two counts of murder, reckless endangerment, terrorizing, and possession with intent to deliver marijuana. He would be sentenced to life in prison. That case was an inspiring example of police teamwork, and the next case is another such example where police had to play a frantic game of hide and seek with a group of illegal migrants who escaped into a small town. Crashing into the seawall. On June the 17th of 2021, a deputy was on Marine Patrol when he was advised by dispatch that another boat was traveling faster than the permitted speed down the intercoastal highway. The officer activated his lights, but instead of stopping, the vessel picked up speed. <laughs>
resort. There's going to be a barge right in the middle of the area right here, about 1,000 block north ICW. So I'm going to need either a beach unit by the sands and another unit that's uh, The officer noted the large number of people aboard the small craft and recognized this as an illegal migrant smuggling operation. He warned the officers on land and continued following the boat. vessel crashed into the seawall, where several migrants jumped off and escaped into the city. A handful were still on the boat, heading to another place, or the rest of them could disembark. East side, east side, just south of the bridge, they are now crashing into the seawall. We have five individuals that are now on landfall, headed running eastbound. Unit, if you're a route, they are about a block south of Atlantic Avenue, uh, Atlantic Boulevard, heading eastbound from the ICW. Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna get you to the boat. Jay, I need you to get to 14th Street right now and get on a boat. Get south of Atlantic. I got a bunch of migrants over here. All right. Hey, that guy's got a gun. That guy's got a gun right there behind the wall. Come on. Roger, give me your gear. I got your gun. Just watch that for me. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Guy on board right there. Right, yes. got a gun. What color is he wearing right now? Black. Black. Uh... Hey, so you can get a unit to check this fence right here. He said that he saw one of them with a firearm. All right. One of them might be armed. Sarge. That's the only one that we had visual as of right now. But before, there was about four males that had gone eastbound. Four ninety seven. Come on. Come on. Hey, make sure they don't have any weapons. Hey, in the hey, get up. Hey, hey, get up. 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 Get Border patrol officers on land began hunting down the fugitives one by one. In the span of about 30 minutes, they were able to round up all 16 escapees. Get the f out! No! Do not fight! Do not fight! Go on the ground! Go on the ground now! On the ground now! On the ground now! Let go! Let go, dude! Go on the ground now! Go on the ground! Okay? Go on the ground! Go on the ground, go on the ground now! Go on the ground now! Hey, on the ground! Put your hand behind your back! Hey, on the ground! Put your hand behind your back! Do it now! Put your hand behind your back! 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 Put your hand behind your back!
I cannot breathe, please. Put your hands behind your back. Your back. Okay, bro, can you verify if you I don't have them. All right, you're gonna sit you down. All right, we still have one in a red hoodie. Put her in a car. What's that? All right, put this one on the ground. I saw a white man, I mean a black man in a white long sleeve t shirt, but I was over by the bank. That's when I first pulled up. I don't know if it's part of it though. Lock it up. Loosen this cuff right here. This one's too tight. Huh? This one's too tight. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait a little bit, okay? Red hoodie, red pants. Probably not going on at 10 4. If you could have on down here so we can get everybody that's uh, possibly in water, get some go in the water. Ma'am, did you see anyone here, Ronnie? I'm gonna go on, I'll take the IC. Instead of command here at Delphi. Red hoodie. If I could have the uh, Delphi in, if you want to here. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? And he went down. Yeah. Just we're looking for a suspect, man. Do you have anybody in the car? No, no. Can you lower the window? Oh, You're good. We're, look, we're looking for a suspect. Mind if I look at real quick in your car? No, you can. Okay, just lower the windows, please. They need a border patrol up at the 200 block. All right. There's not a chance no, no one could be hidden in your truck, is it? Yeah, I had it locked up. Okay. All right. Yeah, we just want to make sure. I figured. <laughs> That's the guy? No, it doesn't look like him. No. He has like a small dresses with the, with the red short. Red, like long sleeve, like a hoodie or something like that. He had a red jacket before. He had a red jacket before. What? Over here, about before. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Huh? At least I have it before you And oh, stop talking for a second. What's your name? Well, she take me the, the name on the... I got her at her airport. You got her for Yeah. You? Uh, Torres, which is about the, the one who left. This one is Gabriela. Gabriela. All right, she... This is Gabriela, so she's from Jamaica. It was discovered that three of the migrants were previously deported from the United States for committing felonies, and all three were charged with re-entering the U.S. The captain of the boat, identified as 26-year-old Jeremy Raleigh, was also arrested and charged with 16 counts of encouraging immigrants to enter the United States and two counts of aiding or assisting inadmissible migrants convicted of an aggravated felony. He was sentenced to five years in prison. Those officers got the conclusion they were looking for. However, we don't know if this next case will ever come to a conclusion, no matter how hard the officers search for the aliens. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? On May the 1st of 2023, Las Vegas police received one of their strangest calls yet, a report of a UFO crash. And the caller wasn't joking. He reported seeing green beings with glowing eyes in his backyard after witnessing a large object fall from the sky. Did you see it? Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, me and him side. What'd you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like around 10 feet tall. Because I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you good. see anything really land see. in your backyard or? They see like a big. That's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big. Can we go that side? I have a big yard in the back. You can see. Can I see a cat over there. No, please can you check because these people are gonna. Oh, yeah, Do you have cameras? Oh, yeah. One camera, but it's not the, uh, the camera. Did you see it? No? 
I'm kind of curious now. I want to. I want to know if there's aliens. I was with the iPhone. I say, maybe I, I want this. It was like they, 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 like, this like, Where did you? Where did they go? Well, they say that. I'm gonna show you. Do you have a dirt backyard? Can you yeah, show me if there's a? Uh... And I'm sorry. Did you see them go anywhere? No. No, you didn't. You saw, did they probably go that way? Hey, did you guys... Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Yeah. We got a call, and one of my partners actually said that they saw it too. So, if you happen to see any, uh, like I'm not BSing you, if you see any... Footage? No, like if you see any, like, little, well, not I little in this couple, case. Um, they're, they're claiming down, uh, they? eight to nine foot tall green beings that were in their backyard. Sounds crazy, but you never know. Uh, the, your neighbors, your fine neighbors over here. Uh, but again, I would normally discount it as probably not These real. neighbors right here? Yes. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. So if you guys see anything, especially in your backyard, please call 911, we'll come over, okay? All we just right. we're, it might right. and we're hoping that it's maybe just some kids pranking or doing something stupid. The officer continued to ask passing cars and bystanders if they'd happen to see any green men with glowing eyes, but no one except the witness and one officer saw anything. After failing to find anything relevant, the officer went back to the caller's house. They said they saw some fall from the sky. They checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green green colored men, uh, not human, with uh, like the eyes were glowing and they did not, it was not a human being, so, yeah, uh, just, um, what's up? Yeah, there's multiple people in this home, so, we already checked, huh? Uh, more than one, so if you see anything, just uh, give us a call, okay? Hope you have a good night, take care. Alright, there's an area, I'm not your neighbor's still going around looking, so. Did you guys have, I'm sorry, no surveillance, no video? The camera's open on the post. The, 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 the landlord oh. got a camera on the post here, over here. Well, they don't see it. Oh, yeah, the landlord has it, so they don't have access to it. But okay. It. All right, man. We man. appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see I wanted to find some aliens. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, if those nine foot beings come back into your backyard, you call the police and we'll come back here. Okay? Yeah. Things come back. Don't call us. All right. Deal with it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> I'll try my way with you guys. You're on your own, bro. All right. Take care, guys. Have a good one. All right. So let's just regroup over here, okay? Yeah. So yeah, like I said we'll we'll ATL the area and we'll we'll be around here for the night. So. Go to the hotel, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. All right, man. We appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see anything else, okay? I know. Legit, bro. No, hey, if those, if those, if those nine-foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> I'll drive by and wave at you guys. You're on your own, bro. The jovial officers parted ways with the callers and patrolled the area for the evening, but never caught any sight of any more extraterrestrial visitors. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one, and don't forget to subscribe.